All right, so the first thing you need to do once you get uh, the scooter, the Xiaomi 365 scooter, download the app, it's called Ninebot. As you can see, Segway, Ninebot. Some of you might know Xiaomi bought Segway last year or the year before. So that's uh, the app, comes from the Play Store. So once you connect it through your vehicle, it's gonna give you some uh, health, health information. But the first thing you need to do is go to energy recovery and make sure your energy recovery level is set to weak. Uh, once I got my scooter, I got the app, uh, I checked it right away and by default, it's set to weak, but just to make sure, make sure that it's already selected. If not, you select it yourself. Why is that a problem? Because some users have reported uh, months back that if you set it up to medium or strong, that means that regenerative energy of your scooter when you brake, when you go down hills, it's way too much of a current, and if you have a full battery, it might, you might risk burn uh, your motherboard, your control board. So to avoid that, make sure that it's set on weak. Um, so from the app here, uh, first thing you can see the name of your scooter, you can rename it, uh, you can set a password. So anytime you try to connect with Bluetooth, uh, we'll ask for a password so nobody else can connect instead of you. Um, you can turn on the light, rear light manually, you can set up your cruise control, which is great if you're going on a longer trip, uh, you can release the throttle, set up the cruise control to a desired speed and the scooter will um, maintain that speed as, you know, similar to what cars do. Um, if I go back here, you see the first screen kind of shows where you can lock and unlock the connection to the uh, scooter. Um, the remaining battery, 86%, I did some test run today, uh, so that's why I dropped a little bit uh, after I... Oh, why am I having a camera? Okay, <laughs> anyway, so um, remaining mileage, as you can see, there's uh, 16 miles remain on the, on the battery. This is kind of like a compass, so we'll change the direction you go. Uh, and if I swipe to the left, this is another screen that's going to show you your current speed, your remaining mileage, average speed, mileage total that you passed, uh, current riding mileage, um, current riding time, and the temperature of the battery. Uh, there, um, Xiaomi are recommending not riding it above 25 degrees Celsius. Um, you know, to be honest with you, especially in hot climate climates like where I am in Atlanta. Uh, I don't think that's going to be possible, especially in the afternoons, mornings maybe, but in the afternoons that's, you know, over 75, uh, 78 degrees Fahrenheit and currently, you know, outside is about 90, so yeah, that probably not going to happen. Hopefully uh, it's not going to burn. Um, so here you have some information about your user, um, well, if I want to reconnect, probably because the scooter is down in the... In the garage and kind of if you leave it on without riding it for a, for a while it disconnects the Bluetooth so you won't um, it won't burn through the battery uh, so yeah I think that's what happened and disconnect by itself but um, you got most of the information here uh, and fans that's kind of like a forum you can take part of and discover uh, kind of find other fans uh, or you know users around around you uh, if you're in the States, I don't think you're going to be able to find too many people, but I think uh, the app is very uh, convenient, very useful. Um, if you find a way to kind of clip your phone to the handlebars of the scooter, it's going to help you monitor your speed at, at all times and make sure you know, that you have uh, a good remaining um, mileage uh, before you have to charge again. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it on the app. Let's move on to the next one, which is tires, tire pressure, filling it with uh, slime, which is a product that seals potential uh, punctures and prevents punctures for the future. Um, and then we'll talk somewhere else. Okay, so the second thing you want to do is check the tire pressure and use one of these to fill the tires in. Slime, that's a well-known product to um, kind of fill in the tires and prevent them from um, punctures out there you know knowing how hard to replace those tires is or to repair them you better put some of that product or anything similar inside 
so you can prevent that. Uh, I think these tires being so small, it will take about um, four ounces or, you know, four to, to eight, kind of like what it says here, wheelbarrow. This is kind of the size of a wheelbarrow, maybe a little bit smaller. So I'd say four to six ounces per tire, um, fill it in and then pump it back up. Um, and uh, let me show you how that's done. So first, let's see what the tire pressure is right now. I think, uh, let's see, I don't think that measures too accurately, but I think it was around 30 PSI's. Um, let's fill it in with the uh, slime and then we'll fill it back in with air. Right, first thing we need to take the tool off from the top of the slime so we can unscrew the insert of the tire nozzle. Uh, let me see. All right, now that we have it off, make sure that the tire nozzle is pointing kind of like, uh, you know, two or 10 o'clock, not completely up, but towards the upper part so we can attach the slime and squeeze it in. Taking the seal off from the bottle, and reattaching the white cap where the hose is gonna go inside the tire and in the bottle. Next thing, make sure to attach the hose firmly with both ends, the bottle and the tire. Then start squeezing the slime inside the tire a little bit. And after that, check. So make sure it's between four and six ounces. As you can see, the bottle has measurements so you can see exactly how much you're putting in. So right now I'm a little over four ounces. I'm gonna put some more and I'm gonna change to the front tire. All right, after that, make sure to reattach the needle inside the tire nozzle. Tighten it up a little bit, not too much. And then start filling up the tire. Now we're gonna do the same for the front tire. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging here because the nozzle, as you can see, is covered. Since the uh, electric engine is right here, we might have to use the attachment that was provided in the box so we can um, squeeze in the slime through it. But let's see. All right, the first problem you might encounter is um, the tool is actually um, not in, you know, not far away enough from the end so you can reach the inside needle. So I have to modify that. I cut it already a little bit. It's still not enough. I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more in order for me to stick it in and take the needle out. So let's do that modification real quick and I will be right back with the tire. All right, it was still not enough. So I'm gonna have to cut a little bit more and we'll be right back. So the tool didn't make it. I'm gonna try to find a way um, to use something else. Pull the, the needle out so I can fill it in. I'll be right back. All right, now after finally I removed the insert, I put out the attachment and now I'm gonna get the slime, put it at the end here, which is actually kind of easier than before. Gives me a little bit more space to work with. Rotate the tire, lift up the bottle, I'm gonna start squeezing again. All right, it didn't work out with the attachment, so I had to uh, put the hose of the slime directly into the nozzle. And now we're continuing. All right, now that the front tire is full, um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some air in it, um, both of them, and see how it is. I will be back in a moment. All right, now outside, ready to plug in and pump the tires with the slime in. Let's see what's gonna happen. All right, right now at 30 uh, PSI, front one, I wanna put the same one on the uh, rear and give it a test drive. Uh, doing the rear tire now, it'll be real fast. All right, both tires are at 30 PSI, uh, time to test it. 
All right, now for the moment of truth. Uh, tires pumped full with slime. Let's give it a quick test run and see how it works. Oh, and super hot outside today. So if you see me super sweaty, don't mind me. That's it for now guys, see you in a little bit.